Surge, and I want to thank you guys for joining me on this shave. For the shave, man, get right into the product. It's been a while since I've done a DE shave, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my carve. My carve with the F plate. So there it is. Uh, F plate, you guys won't be able to see the writing, but it's there. Gotta be careful how I grab this. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Okay, so it's carve F plate. It's got a brand new Voskhod blade in it and Voskhod's are I think maybe my favorite DE blade. I enjoy them because they're extremely smooth so it's a very comfortable shave for me. Um, they're not the sharpest but they're sharp enough man to get the job done but the smoothness, the smoothness is what I love. For the splash I'm going to be using Cooling Recovery Non-Scented from Zingari Man. I'm going to go ahead and use the the porno star right here, the Zingari Man Unscented Balm. And uh, you gotta wait to end the video if you don't re remember why I said that and I didn't come up with that, Blather Me Whiskers did. Um, for the soap, I'm actually using a shaving cream and I believe this is the first time I'm using a shaving cream on videos. And this is Kevin Murphy and it's Sandalwood Infused Soothing Shave Cream. And as far as I know, this is a little, more expensive brand and tube. I don't remember exactly how much I cost. It was a gift to me. Um, and it, I think this tube is like 25 bucks or somewhere around the 20, 20, between the 20 and $30 mark. Um, and uh, my uh, girlfriend, she's um, she's a hairstylist, she's a professional hairstylist. And um, so she's able to go to like the salon centric and uh stores like that that you actually need a cosmetology cosmetologist's license to shop at and she picked this up for me actually even to me father's day like a year ago and um i got it all lathered up in here i'm gonna be using my pink smiles for miles um hybrid brush this beautiful beautiful banker with a 26 millimeter um v69 knot in it I love badger knots for face lathers, so that's why this brush hasn't been seen on video for a little while, because I've been focused, I've been enjoying just doing bow lathers. Um, but it was a cream and I was gonna go crazy. Or I put a little extra amount, I probably put like a quarter amount of soap in here, because I wasn't sure how I was gonna lather up, and I'm using my Dark Sanctum Skull Bowl. Um, and uh, there it is, all lathered up. Hopefully it's hydrated enough. For me, it's hard to tell. Um, Especially with a badger, I'm just not good with badger knots and bowl lathers. Uh, so I, I have a hard time dialing that in and figuring out the lather. And uh, let's get right into the shave. Oh, the scent. Scent on the soap. It's a nice sandalwood scent. And I actually really like sandalwood. So it's a nice medium scent. I give this like a six. And it's a nice sandalwood scent. Can't go wrong with it. So I'm gonna wet the face. And it's like running a little behind, 6.50. All right, I was hoping to wake my daughters up already. Um, that's seven, so I'm gonna wake them up just a little bit past seven. This, the bloom on this knot is huge, which is perfect for face lathering. Um, when you're painting, like bowl lathering, my badgers, because they have such incredible blooms on it, I don't, I find it a little bit more difficult for bowl lathering, for the knot itself to, to be in the bowl, especially uh, like my Dark Sanctum and my Acevedo Studios, they're not as large. And even my um, uh, Saldus Creations bowl, the opening's not as large. Um, maybe the Kaiyu one, I haven't tried the Kaiyu one, it's, it's huge, so maybe I, I wouldn't have that issue. All right, you know, it's just a preference. It's a little bit drier and airier than I like. Let me see if I add water to it. I'm able to get it to the consistency I like. See how huge this bloom is? Great for face water.
All right, yeah, so back to it, going to our daughters. Uh, it's Friday, not going to work, take the day off, rented a cabin, driving up north to the Redwood National Forest, just the tip of it, um, to Pose, California. Rented a cabin out there for the weekend and um, taking my daughters. I'm gonna pick up my youngest sister on the way. She lives in La Mirada, about 25 minutes, but on the way. Uh, pick her up and we're gonna head out there. And, um, you know, just enjoy, enjoy the cabin. Plan on going to the creek or lake today, tomorrow uh, from the cabin, the actual redwoods. I've never seen them, my daughter's never seen them. So I want, you know, take them to do that. Um, Drive. It's about 45 minutes to an hour away from the cabin. So we'll take that trip tomorrow, go there, and we're just gonna hang out. It's a nice, you know, cabin out in the forest and just enjoy it, bonfires, weekend relaxed. Not gonna have cell phone service. I believe there's Wi-Fi though. Um, so it's gonna be really cool. You know, just hanging out with the daughters and spending time with them. A little getaway. Uh, my oldest one's gonna be going back to school in the next few weeks. So I just wanted to do a little getaway vacation for her before she goes back to school as well. And I'm just playing with this lather to see what consistency it's gonna get. As if I keep working it, it's building more actually. And I'm actually gonna go with this. So yeah, I'm gonna, it's about three hours and 20 minutes without any major traffic. So it's a nice drive still. Uh, Nice long drive. So I do have a three-year-old and my oldest is eight. Uh, my youngest is two, she's not quite yet three. She turns three in September and my oldest turns nine in October. So coming up, um, I'm not worried about the drive for my eight-year-old. She'll be fine. The drive for my two-year-old is gonna be the longest drive she's ever been on. Prior to this would be Big Bear, which is about two hours. This is an hour and a half more. So the plan is to uh, drive for two hours. That's I know she can do that. She did great and fine on it. Um, last time, hoping, fingers crossed. You know, toddlers, completely unexpected. You never know what you're getting into. It's always, you know, kind of hope for the best and go off previous behaviors. Um, I hope she does well. So we drive for two hours, take a break, you know, check, check her diaper, change her diaper. Obviously if she goes before that, we'll, we'll do that, but two hour mark for sure, check, and, check her diaper. Um, and you know, stop out there. Since this is out in the forest also, in about an hour away, now I'm going to be looking for a market to buy the food and stuff like that too. So stock up on all that. I don't want to drive three hours of food. Um, buy food at the market for the cabin, take a break, let, the, let her walk around, stretch those legs, and then continue on for that hour more drive, you know? She does have an iPad and that does occupy her and keep her busy but I don't like to give it to her immediately. I don't want her to come dependent on it, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna try to see how long she can tolerate driving the car and staring out the window, seeing the sights, using her imagination, whatever, you know, a two-year-old does. <laughs> and give her the iPad as, uh, you know, last resort if she's beginning to get fussy and all that. So, you know, hoping, hoping the best for this trip. Hoping not to catch a bunch of traffic because we are going to be leaving about, plan is about eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, so I might, up most likely from Orange County, I'm going to hit traffic on the way to Los Angeles and through Los Angeles. 
Um, hopefully not too bad, because it'd be like 8.30ish, around the time we're in that area, 8.40. And um, hopefully everybody's at work already. Mo the, the major chunk of traffic's at work. And so uh, hopefully traffic won't be too bad. There's always traffic though, no matter what. Traffic is bad in Orange County, 4055 heading towards Los Angeles, San Diego. The, the, the traffic's bad out here, if you guys don't know, really bad. Like LA itself for me is about 40 minutes, 35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, no traffic. Um, you hit traffic on the way to or back that can turn into a two hour drive easily or more. And that's why I hate driving LA to work. And I hate when my company asks me. Luckily, this company does not ask me often. Um, but yeah, I hate that because I'll leave at like four and get home at like 6.30 because traffic's just horrible. It's bumper to bumper most of the way. All right, I'm gonna try to make this a little um, I'm gonna play with this lather, add some more water. Yeah, this, it, it could have took more water on my first pass, but it wasn't that. It wasn't, it wasn't super dry, but it could have took more water. And so I'm adding more water. See, and it's creating more lather. So that's how I know it could have took more. And I'm actually, okay, it's getting there. I use my spray bottle to add water. Creating so much lather. So that quarter amount was a lot. A lot of it I put. Yeah, I know. It's hard to tell for me what a badger is. To me, a badger does, um, especially when bull lathering, it's hard to tell. For me, I feel like it, it, it absorbs more and eats more of the lather. Yeah, but look at that. Could have took a lot more water. this on. All right, I'm gonna go with this because I'll be fine with this. And also I'm playing around taking longer on my shave than I should. <laughs> 12 minutes in and I gotta get these girls up for breakfast pretty packed last night but you know things we gotta pack again today at least we gotta use like toothbrushes hair brushes um things like that you know I have a list I create a list on my phone individually for each child what they need because they have their own specific needs and things I gotta bring a list for myself me and my daughter go through it together we create the list together and then we check it off as she grabs one thing for herself and you know, I check it off for myself and my other daughter as well. So that keeps me hopefully not forgetting anything. All right, here you go, cheers. All right, the car, I find the best way it shapes on me is to do small strokes. As I say that, I do a long stroke, right? So I start off just the little short strokes and that's the best way it shaves.
to make sure I'm hitting the proper cutting angle on this razor. Believe it or not, it's actually harder for me to get this. A very close angles cuts to hair, you know, my lines. Ah, uh, with a DE than it is a straight razor. Old habit. I always want to close my eyes with the DE when I do that. Okay. When I'm shaving with a DE, like that, I'm going, I close my eyes, I go more off of a fill of the razor in my face. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Just another quick touch up pass. I'm calling it a touch up because I'm gonna fly through it, but I'm gonna do the whole face still. And since I have this lather left over, might as well, right? <sighs> All right. I felt ashamed to waste so much lather, you know? I almost never do the side pass against the neck. It's just too aggressive. Aggressive for me. of the film. My skin is really sensitive on my neck. Even with the slightest touch, it almost gives it a burning sensation. Skin just doesn't like it. Find that angle with my and my left hand's a little hard. All right, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off. I'll be right back. Guys. All right, I'm back, guys. Doing touch up. Got the tip of my lip. <laughs> And I'm, I always, uh, the return of the curse of the cut with the DE. I usually cut myself with the DE. Straight razors are my thing, DEs. I actually have a hard, little harder time with them. All right, here you go, with the cooling. I didn't tuck in my lip far enough. my lip <laughs> all right and then uh so that's the zingari man cooling splashing nights mentholated and now the portal star because it shoots all over the place no matter if i cup it or what it always gets all over the place all right and there we go and i'm ready for my shave for my shape, for my trip, <laughs> for my trip. All right, guys, I'll see you guys. Next video won't be till I come back Sunday, Monday, depending. I'm coming back Sunday. 
uh, Sunday evening, but might be tired, you know. So Monday, something like that. I do have another little giveaway, and yeah. So stay tuned to see you guys.